Hey, and welcome to my beautiful mess. This is Mary. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today we're going to make a Netflix uh, tracker. Yeah, so if you're like me during quarantine, you've probably been spending a lot of time binge watching um, new things. And so um, today we're going to make a tracker for your planner. So I'm starting off by just using um, just a plain sheet of graph paper. Um, you know, you could use dot grid if you wanted to. Um, I was searching high and low through all my supplies to find a, a page that was neutral um, because <laughs> like all the filler paper I have has some kind of design on it. So um, this was, I was, I found three sheets of like blank, just plain old blank graph paper. So that's what I'm using. Um, so, um, there's lots of ways that you could do this. I'm just going to show you, I'm, I think I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. Um, so it's up to you. You can totally choose to hand write Netflix up at the top if you want, um, and create like the, the network graphic if you want, the network logo if you want. Um, I did not want to spend a lot of time doing that. <laughs> Um, I have had a real hard time with everybody home trying to get some planner time in and so I'm totally cheating. <laughs> so this is my cheat. I went online and I printed out um, the logo. I saved it and printed it out. Um, I just saved the picture and then I basically sized it down because it was actually it was actually quite big and so I just sized it down um, and this is about four inches across. Um, and so I post just like pasted it into like a net, uh, a word document and just kind of, I'm just going to print it out and cut it and just to save me some time because I am lazy like that. <laughs> you could totally hand draw it if you want, or you know, like if you don't have great handwriting, um, you could certainly just do what I did. I actually have really nice handwriting. I just, uh, I just didn't want to draw it. <laughs> I was just being lazy and I didn't have the t I don't really have the time to sit there and do it. So, um, and I certainly didn't want to do that on camera. So, and just kind of like bore you guys to death watching me fill in letters. Um, so I cut it out and you know, if you wanted to, you could certainly trim it down like Further, if you wanted to actually just cut out the individual letters, you could do that too. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just kind of keeping it simple. And so I'm basically just going to put it right here. And there's also different um, different logos as well. Uh, like they have this one that kind of has, it's like the white and black uh, letters on red. They have uh, red on white, red on black, like they have different, um, variations of the logo. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Um, I'm just, I'm just doing like a classic look and I'm not going to be real precise. I'm just going to kind of drop that in the middle there. Okay. So the other things that I think you might need, and all I did to attach it was I just used um, just some like crafting tape, um, sticky tape, and I just stuck it on there. Um, you can find that at any craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, the other thing we're going to probably need is you're gonna need um, a ruler, like a straight edge. Uh, you may need like some pens and a pencil a pencil for sure if you don't feel comfortable, like if you don't want to make mistakes, you can always do it in pencil first and then redo it in ink. And <clears throat> I had made another one and a friend had asked me a couple of questions and so I'm going to answer them here. Um, they asked about potentially using like this habit tracker accessory pack or the journaling um, accessory pack. So it's totally up to you how you decide to make your habit tracker. You know, you do it and make it your own. But I did not think that this book was particularly helpful. Um, 
These are like 21 day habit trackers. You know, you could potentially use these if you wanted to and you wanted to keep it colorful. Um, but you're kind of bound to seven boxes. And we're gonna talk about that and how you can use it. And then you've got these monthly ones. So there's different ways that you can use your tracker. Um, if you wanted to, you could use it um, where you used maybe like a 30 day tracker and it's like I, you're tracking the days that you're watching. Um, but I think more people are not, more people are going to end up using the tracker to actually track either the episodes that you're watching or the seasons that you're watching. And so we're going to talk about that in a minute. I'm going to give you some examples of like what I mean um, and how you want to track it. But it really comes down to how often you want to be filling in this habit tracker. Um, if you decide to track per episode, obviously you're going to be tracking it a lot more um, than if you just track it by the season. Um, so I am probably going to end up doing it by the season, but I'm going to try to show you both ways to give you some ideas. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use one of my favorite books and it's actually this journaling um, uh, value pack sticker book. And there's, there's two, in case you don't know, there's two different journaling sticker books. There's a red one and there's a blue one, but we're gonna be using the blue one. The red one just doesn't really have a lot um, that would be useful for this. So um, it's, it's got more of like icons and stuff like that. Um, it, it's not really going to be very useful for this project, although it's a really great book. So we're going to be using the blue one, okay? So what we're going to do is, and this is totally up to you. Um, you know, if you want to make it fun, you could use bubble ones to actually write down. Because what you need to do is you need to write down the names of the programs. And then across here, you can either do it by season and number of episodes, or you can do it just by the season. So <clears throat> there are some limitations and I'll explain them as we get into it. So what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use these boxes here. They're just rectangular boxes. Um, and I wish they were a tad longer, honestly. Um, they have longer boxes, but they just don't have very many of them. Um, as you can see here, they just don't have a lot of them. So um, I'm gonna end up, like they have some on the next page, but they're the same size. They're really not, they're really not any bigger. They're the, basically the exact same size. So you either need to be kind of concise in your handwriting um, you know you have to either write you know be willing to write small. Um, the first thing I'd like to do before we start laying stickers down um, just because it might be a little hard to do it afterwards is I want to actually kind of create a border to kind of uh, box this in and just make it a little more decorative. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing it on screen um, <laughs> just because it's going to take me quite a few minutes to do that and I just don't want to uh, bother y'all with it. So I'm going to do it off camera real quick and then I'm going to come back and show you once it's done and then we're going to start laying some stickers down. Okay, we are back. Um, so con full confession, <laughs> I was going to uh, grab a pen or a marker and like draw out a border <laughs> and like as I was like searching for my pen, I was like, why am I going to do this the hard way? Like I had like this big epiphany. Y'all, I, I told you I was being really, really lazy. <laughs> so... Um, I basically just use skinny washi. Like that was, it took less than 30 seconds to do that. So um, yeah, so I am, uh, I just took like some skinny washi I had and I just cut it inside the box here and just put it down. So really, really simple, okay? 
So we're all about cutting corners today, apparently. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting down our, um, our shows here. Um, so I'm gonna show you one way to do it, um, and then I'm gonna show you a different way. So I know I keep saying that, but I would just wanna be clear that I'm gonna kinda of show you two different ways to do it. So let's start by just sticking, just sticking one of these down. Um, so another little caveat, before I, or I should say before you maybe start doing this, um, what you might want to do is you might want to just start by going onto Netflix, um, and seeing how many seasons um, and or episodes your, um, your list is going to have. Like I went, this is so not pretty and I wasn't going to show this to y'all, but <laughs> just so y'all could see kind of what I was, what I was thinking. Um, I actually kind of, um, went on and I found some episode, you know, some series that I wanted to watch and I kind of wrote down how many seasons there were and then how many episodes per season. So... What you could do is you could fill in um, your uh, show right here. And you can use on this side, if you're going to track by um, ep episode, no, ep season. If you wanted to track by season, um, you could, sorry, I grabbed the red sticker book and I just told, I would like just finish telling y'all we weren't going to use that one. Okay. You could use these habit trackers. Now these habit trackers are really great because they're already kind of bulleted for you. The only problem with them is that there's basically only seven circles. So if you have a series that has seven seasons or less, these would be really great for that. Um, and you could just basically take this, like one of the series that I'm going to watch is gonna be The Crown, okay? And they only have three, three, um, what do you call it, seasons, sorry. I'm like, totally drew a blank on that. Um, so you could do like season one, season two, and season three, like that and you could just check them off. So if it's under seven, seven seasons or less, these would actually work really, really well for you. Um, if it's not, uh, if there's like, like one of the things, y'all I know, don't judge me here, but I have never watched The Office. Like I started watching season one like a long time ago and never finished watching it. So I'm gonna do The Office, but that has like, like nine seasons. So <laughs> something like this probably won't work for that unless you want to maybe do two and you could, you could put two side by side if you wanted to, um, if you had more than seven. Um, the other thing you can do is you can simply just write in right here. You could do like one, two, three, write the seasons right here. And then you could just either X these boxes below it um, or you could highlight them, whichever you prefer. Like I prefer highlighting stuff than crossing stuff out, but that's just me. Um, so the other way you could do this, um, is you could, instead of doing, um, by the season, if you were really wanted to get into the nitty gritty, what you could do is you could actually write the season's vertically like season one season and i would skip some spaces here like season one season two season three all the way down and then you could actually write the episodes all the way across that would be the second way of doing it that i was explaining so you could be like uh so you would be like season one episode one season one episode two um i'll give you an example of kind of what i mean by that um like I may just fill it out a little bit for y'all so that y'all can kind of see it um, for yourself. So uh, in fact, why don't we kind of do that so that you can kind of take a look at what I mean. Okay, 
So here are the two different um, two different ways that you can do it. So I did some of this off camera just so you wouldn't have to <laughs> watch me fill out <laughs> every little box. Um, but as you can see here, let me move this over. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Okay, as you can see, so I wrote down the name of the program here and then above each little bubble, I wrote down the number of seasons. So like I said, this works great if you've got less than seven seasons. Um, alternatively, if you had more than seven seasons, you could just put a second one and continue it out. Okay, so um, I prefer this method just because I think it's cleaner overall. Um, and I kind of like that look, but if you wanted to track every episode, you could. <laughs> so here is an example of that. And it's a little messy, I'm sorry, but I was trying to get it done with a preschooler talking to me. Um, so you could put the name here. And then, like I said, you could put the seasons down this way, and then you could put the number of episodes across. You would just have to be mindful about how many boxes um, you actually have like in this space. Um, if you had, you know, a series that's like The Office or, you know, one of these other series that has like 20 something episodes, you could always, instead of just doing it, um, you know, one, two, three, you could just leave some space and have two rows for each season. Um, so, you know, you'd get roughly, I don't know, about 14 episodes. So you could do, come down and do a second line of it and then go to season two. You know what I'm saying? So that is just two different ways that you could do it. Um, ultimately, it's up to you. It, like I said, it kind of depends on how much tracking you want to do. Um, for me, I don't want to be tracking it with every single episode. <laughs> That's just me. So I plan on just tracking, um, I plan on just tracking the, um, there we go, zoom out a little bit. Um, the uh, series, like the, the seasons. So I hope that has given you some idea. Um, I just also kind of stuck in the corner just for decorative reasons. I kind of just stuck in a little bit of popcorn and a drink, and you can find that in the food sticker book. Um, but I hope that that's helped you. I hope that that's kind of given you some ideas on how to put together your own tracker. Um, you know, when it comes to making things in your planner, you know, it really has to be what works for you. So, um, you know, I hope I've given you some ideas on different ways that you can track it. Um, but ultimately, it's going to be what you love. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining me. Um, thank you for being patient with me on getting some of these videos out during quarantine. It's been really hard to find time uh, to, to film these with everybody at home. But um, I would love it if this is your first time here. Um, thank you for joining me and please subscribe before you leave.